Hey Superstars, welcome back to one of my autograph videos where I doodle a player and bug them through the mail for an autograph. Today we're drawing an awesome light hitting backup catcher who played for five teams in six years, Mr. J.W. Porter. Oh, and some guy named Willie Mays. I'm trying something a little different today. Normally I draw on small 4x6 cards, but I was looking for reference and I wanted to draw Mr. Porter playing for the Indians. And I ran across this awesome, awesome press photo of him tagging out Willie Mays in a spring training game. I thought about buying the press photo, but decided to draw it instead. It was way too cool to shrink down to a 4x6 card, so I went big and opted for a more realistic ballpoint pen drawing over my usual silly marker doodles. Porter played for the St. Louis Browns, Detroit Tigers, Cleveland Indians, Washington Senators, and the St. Louis Cardinals. I couldn't find a whole lot of information on him, but I did see that he really, really liked eggs. His favorite meal was two dozen eggs. Doesn't sound too healthy, but he's 87 and still kicking, so what do I know? I had Arby's for lunch. But what I really love is that Porter, a lifetime 228 hitter, after just learning that he'd been traded on the radio, heads over to the Indian Spring Training Facility in 1958 and is good enough to tag out Willie Mays. I guess my point is that these lesser known guys with their tiny Wikipedia pages were still capable of doing great things on the field. Maybe not as frequently as Willie Mays or Hank Aaron or Mickey Mantle, but I've never tagged out a major league superstar at home plate and I never will. But I can draw one and I can send it to the guy that did and I can make these silly little YouTube videos about it and somehow get you suckers to watch them. Bear with me, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm talking about. This is looking pretty neat. What I didn't show you is that this was my third attempt at this drawing, but don't tell anybody that I'm not perfect. Ooh, maybe my point is that if you want to achieve greatness, just keep trying until you do. Even if you don't ever achieve it, it sure beats sitting on the couch eating curly fries. And done. Off to the mailbox. Alright, let's see what we got. This envelope is kind of weird. Not my return envelope. Oh, what? He sent back the original drawing signed, not what I expected at all. I told Mr. Porter to keep this drawing and return a print that I made and a card which would have fit in my return envelope. He put extra postage on this envelope and kept the card and the print, but this is still super, super cool and I shall treasure it always. Thank you so much, Mr. Porter. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, 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 and we'll see you next time. Be great.